If the victim is prepared and ready to defend themselves, the bad guy is going to have a bad day. Hi everyone, it's John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Cleveland, Ohio. Shows us an attempted armed robbery here that the armed robber does not like the outcome for. Shows us some important lessons about keeping your force multipliers on you, about having good situational awareness, and about putting shots on target to stop the threat. It picks up with this gal who's being driven back into the store and you can see the door kind of partially closed there. And this is the manager who is armed. He's got a register in his hand there. He's going back to count down a register to be my guest. And as she comes back, he's gonna come out and he, this guy had a gun. And so he puts one shot in him at least, takes multiple shots at the guy. The guy runs off. Now the manager is gonna chase him just barely out the door, make sure that he's not there, get rid of that trash can and end this fight. Look around, make sure that everybody is okay. Let's go back and learn some lessons out of this one. There's some important ones here. Make sure you go to our website as well. There's a bunch of lessons there and you wanna click through the link in the description for that. First one is this idea of this transitional space. They prop this back door open in order to take out the trash and whatnot and their attacker was able to use that to his advantage and attack from the rear. You can see right there that this trash can had been used to prop that door open and he knew people were going in and out of there. Can't tell you enough, if you work in a convenience store, you work in a restaurant, don't prop that back door open. I know it's tempting, but you don't wanna do it. Next, this guy was ready. He was, you know, he had his tools on him and you could just barely see he could see through, you know, the shelving here and because of that, he was prepared. You see, he got the drop and launched a counter ambush on this armed robber. You can see the robber has a gun out. Turns out, if you go read the news story in the, that's uh, on my website, again, linked in the description, that you, what you're gonna find is that it was a fake gun. But our defender is able to slide out. You can see him, he's in a great position there. Hands extended at the right distance. He's able to get a shot on target at center mass. Now, you learn that stuff in training. Make sure you go get good training because you won't just do this stuff by default. Now, once the guy is running off, we see our, our defender here still got good posture. He's got a good grip on the gun, but he stops shooting. Incredibly important. If you need to find a good resource for good and effective training, go on our website, activeselfprotection.com slash instructors. You'll find a bunch of instructors in a bunch of venues. Now, when the time comes to stop, he does a great job of it there. And you see him kick that out of the way. And one of the best ways to end a fight is to get out of contact to the, the armed robber. It's exactly what he does here. He maintains that gun on target until it's time to get done, closes the door so that there's no longer a threat, and then he does his follow-up actions. You notice he's looking around, he's broken that, you know, that tunnel vision, and now he's doing his follow-up actions. Overall, great job by the manager. He did a fantastic job, kept his tools on him, used them effectively in the moment, stopped when he needed to, defended himself and his employee, and covered his ASP.